Saber and welcome back to Perceptions of the Dead. I've been sneezing. I don't know why. But I keep sneezing. And that's why I sound sniffly. But anyways, we just came on the game. Oh, the guy's quiet for it. I merely nod slowly. But you can still get him back? I nod again. But it's been over a week since you started searching. He hasn't eaten anything. I still couldn't wrap my mind around how much time had passed in the darkness. He will be fine. Time does not pass normally where he is. You know where he is? I nod. I'm going there tonight to get him back. They just recycled the same voice line for that. They start crying. I'm not really sure what to do at this point, so I stand there, awkwardly, Hoping that my layers give me more of the appearance of stoicism than an awkward penguin. Apparently it works. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I leave the building as they both chant thank you. Like it was some kind of prayer. It's not the first time I'd heard that prayer. It's not the first time I had done this. Okay, we get it. You're not a virgin. I'm ready this time as night falls. I withdraw a small shot and without hesitation jam it into my arm. Viper venom. I had a friend back home who kept one as a pet. Weird kid. Milks the things. Sells the venom, mostly to medical facilities. Occasionally he sells it to me. My knees nearly buckle as the burning begins to creep through my arm. Why are you doing this? I stifle a scream. Okay. Then I hear it and everything clicks. Oh. I let out a long sigh and stand up. Adjusting my layers. So putting viper venom in your veins makes you able to see slash hear ghosts? Yeah, but a snake does not have the power to see ghosts, does it? You should get snake's powers. Snakes? Yeah, but the, okay, okay, what's a snake power? Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, what, what? Name something that a snake power would be. Hiss. And eat yeah, but small but animals whole. You got, okay, but look, and, look. and slither and do the... No, 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 here's the thing, though. The snakes, they, they have heat vision. Spirits. Are like chills, so they so. can see. <laughs> You're fucking laying over there, nodding at me. I love you. I love you too. You're welcome. I turn my eyes to fall upon the approaching truck. My hand goes behind my back, and my fingers close. I train the gun on the truck and unload a triad of shots into the ghost truck's engine. The engine sputters, the grating burns, melting away, and the music screams in protest. What? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> an escapee from an Andy Warhol painting stutters, stepping awkwardly from the vehicle. Oh, he has this weird shadow effect on his eyes. That's creepy. It's getting dark. I have to protect the children. I have to protect the children. Only one thing may not exist. You and that which you fear must cease to be. But the children! The darkness falls upon me. With such force, I stagger. I lose my grip and the gun disappears, searing into the shifting mass of flesh. My hand goes behind my back, and my grip closes around a rough-hewn blade, forged of obsidian and steel. And as I carve outwards, I hear the screams of all the lost children, unwilling to accept their fate. And swallowed by the darkness. I recognize that from anywhere. It's from that one uh, creepy Mickey video that's on that one.org site where you can get all these royalty free sound effects. Flesh tatters as I carve, burning away like paper, until finally I lay into the man. It's basically like the creepy. Pasta scream nowadays. You know what scream I'm talking about? Yes. 
No, you don't understand. I was just trying to help. I bury the blade into his throat. Damn. The cacophony resounds as the children who lost themselves in the darkness writhe, and I go about my work of freeing them all, just as I had freed this man. Spooky. My baby. Oh, my baby. It's okay. Everyone's okay. No, not everyone. They're all dead. Everyone. Everyone died. Why the fuck does he sound like that? Uh, Everyone died. Can you get a new one? <laughs> can I? Is it too late to have an abortion? <laughs> Seven kids lost here. And I got back all of them. I wonder how many I actually freed. How many had he trapped in his nightmare? And what the hell was he so afraid of in that darkness? And most importantly, why did he ultimately abandon them to it? I don't know how to thank you. After a week of not hearing from you, I'd feared for the worst. A month after that, and I'd come to accept that it was over. I was ready to move on. His eyes fall to his wife, still babying the boy, who won't stop staring off into the distance. <laughs> yeah, that kid's seen some shit. He won't be, he won't be bouncing back anytime soon. She had faith, though. She said that you were an angel, or maybe a demon. She didn't care. She believed in you. Some nights after she had said her Hail Marys, I would see her put her hands together, and I would hear her. What the fuck is the person upstairs doing? Maybe you're looking a little frisky right now, huh? A lot of bed squeaking. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't like thinking about that, but hey! Oh my god. I'm gonna be the one with the noise complaints this time. She prayed to you. I was almost flattered, but to tell the truth, the idea of someone believing so much in me, in praying to me, it was terrifying. Yep. I want you to know, I'm willing to pay more than whatever your normal fee is. We've been living with a tight belt since I called you, and I won't lie and say I don't do well for myself. I have more than enough saved up to pay you anything we could ask. Or, if there's something else you want, there's nothing I can offer you that means more to me than my son. Wait, what? I let out a long sigh. I reach up to my hood and pull it back. Both of them gasp, stepping back, and then cocking eyebrows in unison, having perhaps expected something more. I'm scared. After having been gone for two months, I could really use a job. Oh. <laughs> it's just an ordinary man. And maybe they're surprised that he's a black man, but they could have heard that from the voice, so... Oh, they could have seen what he looked like? Yeah, he had his head up the whole time, and, like... Uh conceal his face because okay. he goes by the acolyte and wants to seem all mysterious Ooh. well I saw his friends doing and then he just kind of was like okay whatever okay. it is a whole story thing you wouldn't get unless you watched like the previous video that I did on this so, uh, what, what, like, it's what the first time frame is this is this like the 1950s or I don't know it doesn't have a specific time frame I think okay. it's whatever That's the end of the story. Wow. So I took. Wow, that was a pretty short one. That one was just straightforward, too. They, th they didn't have a. They didn't have a. Any choices to make. The other one did. We only have one more thing to do, and that will be for the next episode because we almost finished at the end of this vlog. Can I have four for time? No. Oh. Okay, right to the minutes. Okay, do my outro. Okay. With that being said, if you guys enjoyed this.
this episode of Perceptions of the Dead would like to see the last story of this game, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye